what we're trying to do is we're looking at how microbes in, interact with volcanic rocks under, underwater, basically. And so we go to volcanoes where we have contact with water, either up on Mount Erebus, where we have the glaciers, or where glaciers actually intersect or run over ancient volcanoes. And so we can take substrates or rocks from there, just collect them and study the surfaces and see how that has been going on for thousands of years. And we also put experiments out where we have um, glass substrates that we put out and see how they're colonized. And we have chosen the glass as such that some of them are particularly attractive for microbes that oxidize iron. Others are particular for manganese or for phosphorus and so on. And so uh, we made these substrates so uh, we can actually catch particular microbes. We know they are around for a long time. And when we identify or when we actually culture any organisms, we can study them metabolically and see what they do. Uh, and then we can study them genetically and understand so the gene genetic underpinnings for how they oxidize iron, how they do all these things. And with these genetic data, you can place them somewhere in the tree of life. And uh, the lower these microbes will be on the genetic tree of life, the closer you might be getting to the origin of life. Well, the, our experiments from the sea floor suggested that two years is a minimum uh, for reaching a sufficiently thick biofilm so we can catch enough microbes, but also to see the initial effects of corrosion in the glass. And in fact, you know, two years, even four years may not be enough, but we'll see how, how the results will be.